Today we're going over how to remember upper extremity range of motion norms and we're pulling these numbers from the Score Builders Physical Therapy Exam Guide for the MPTE. So just remember to check that your facility is using the same numbers they are. So we're starting with shoulder flexion and shoulder abduction which are normally 0 to 180 degrees for both. So if we think of shoulder abduction we can see we have a total 360 arc using both shoulders. But for one shoulder, one arm, we just take half of that, which is 180 degrees. If you think about the Vitruvian Man, just think about that circle, that 360 degrees. But remember, one shoulder, one arm, just half the circle at 180 degrees. Next, for shoulder extension, which is normally 0 to 60 degrees, we remember the phrase, watch my six, aka watch my back. Since shoulder extension puts the arm behind the back, it's an easy way to remember back, watch my six, and six is the anchor point there to remember 60. For shoulder internal rotation, which is normally 0 to 70 degrees, I just want you to sit there and internally rotate your shoulders. What happens? Your hands cover your stomach. And I want you to think about the stomach and the S is there to connect to 70. So think about sickly stomach 70. Think about that, those arms covering your stomach, maybe you're not feeling too good. Sickly stomach 7, sickly stomach 70, use those S's to remember 70. For shoulder external rotation, which is normally 0 to 90 degrees, we're anchoring on the number nine and thinking about what would happen if someone points a nine millimeter gun at you. You'd externally rotate your shoulders pretty quick. Or another way to think about that is think about the 90 degree angles you're creating here. All these 90 degree right angles and think about the nine and 90. For elbow flexion, which is normally zero to 150 degrees, all I want you to do is put your arm out, spread your fingers and then perform elbow flexion and look at those five fingers coming at you. Count them up, five for 150 degrees. Next, for supination and pronation, which is normally 0 to 80 degrees for both, try to remember the phrase, hey, are you hungry? Mm, no, I ate. So remember that, that movement of supination and pronation saying, nah, I, I ate already. Eight for 80. For wrist extension and wrist flexion, I want you to think about these together. I want you to think about being in a restaurant. Then what do you see in a restaurant? You see servers having their wrists extended, carrying trays. The normal wrist extension is 0 to 70 degrees, so I want you to think about servers and 70s. The people eating, doing the wrist flexion, they're the eaters, and the normal flick wrist flexion is 0 to 80 degrees. So I want you to think about eaters are 80, servers are 70. For radial deviation and ulnar deviation, I want you to stick a hand, stick it out, and then make a little finger gun. And all you have to do is count the fingers. Radial deviation, which is normally 0 to 20 degrees, 1, 2, 2 for 20. For ulnar deviation, which is normally 0 to 30 degrees, just count the fingers. 1, 2, 3. For only deviation. Just count the fingers in the direction you're going and you'll find your answer. And there you have it. There's some easy and maybe weird ways to remember upper extremity range of motion norms. Thanks for watching and good luck on your next test.